Welcome back, everyone, to Crusader Kings 3, one of my all-time favorite games to play. And I just got back from two weeks in the United Kingdom, the last week of which was spent in Scotland, and I am currently obsessed with all things Scottish. So we're going to dive into a new series on this game, and I'm going to play as one of my Scottish families. Uh, the heritage that I have comes a lot of it from Scotland. Uh, and one of the, the the two families I descend from the most in my family tree are the Hamiltons, who are a lowland clan uh, from down in here, um, Lanarkshire around around Glasgow, and then the Stuarts, the royal family of Scotland. Uh, so we're going to actually play as the House of Stuart, which I know did not really exist in 867 the way it did much later. Uh, and I tried to recreate their um, their house. Um, kind of sigil, I guess is what you would call it, uh, the house emblem, the the coat of arms as we know it. Um, it looks similar to this. Uh, I wish I could have made the, the shield part a little bit bigger to fit the animal symbol inside. But And this is how they spelled Stuart when it originally was a house. It only became S-T-U-A-R-T later on. So we're going to go with that, and I'm going to start out as an earl responsible for two counties, Linlithgowshire uh, and Strathairn. I'm probably butchering those pronunciations, and I apologize for that to our Scottish friends. Uh, we are a part of the uh, kingdom uh, of, what is that? That's Alba. Okay, and then, of course, we have uh, Ivar the Boneless controls this area over here. Uh, in fact, let's kind of look at the kingdom titles here. Um, actually, we'll look at realms. So, uh, yeah, we've got Alba. We've got Strathclyde. We've got... Um, the independent realm under Ivar the Boneless. We've got Northumbria here. Our goal, of course, is going to be to unite Scotland as one nation, and then maybe even eventually Britannia, which would be all of this here. So we'll see how that all goes. Let's go ahead and dive in. All right, well, first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, we can close all of this stuff here. Um, we've got to deal with the issue of marriage and producing an heir. I am 20 years old. Uh, I, I kind of feel like martial lifestyles where I want to focus to begin with. Uh, specifically, let's see, strategy focus. Let's do that. So we'll start there. Um, definitely need to, oh, we have an available perk, so let's go ahead and choose one of these. Oh, we've got a, strat a stewardship perk. Uh, tax man it is. Let's find a marriage. Alliance power is going to be key for me right now. Irish, that's not a bad way to go with this. Let's see what she offers. I've never played in the tribal system before, so it's going to be interesting to see how that's different than what I'm used to. What's this guy got as far as an army goes? 822, which is superior to what I have. So uh, that's pretty good. I think we'll probably go ahead and do that. And then we'll have to work on an heir. All right, we've got our marriage proposal accepted. So hopefully we'll produce an heir sooner rather than later. More importantly, we have a powerful ally to get started. So looks like I'm going to be placed as chancellor to the king. So that's pretty cool. That's nice to have right off the bat. Active election in Kingdom of Alba. So we have an elective kingdom. Interesting. Can we vote for myself? That would be fascinating to be get to be in position to become king right off the bat. Don't know if that's a possibility though. Let's take a look at our council now and see what they're all up to. Get them at work on some things: domestic affairs, um, train commanders, organize an army. Yeah, we'll organize an army. Spy master. Uh, let's have them disrupting schemes. That's good. Actually, find secrets is a good one. I think we'll do that. Um, we could fabricate a claim, but I don't know if I want to go down that route just yet. How about increasing development? Let's start with that. So I see that rather than knights, we have champions. So that's kind of cool. I didn't realize that there would be a difference like that, but I totally I love it. Uh, this guy would be a fantastic champion to have. Let's recruit him. To our court and then I want to look at 
what we can do as far as creating new regiments. I like the idea of having some horsemen, but I'm not sure that that's feasible at the moment. What do we have at the moment? We have light footmen. Let's get some armored footmen. So let's start there. So we've discovered that the High Chieftain of Moray has secretly taken a lover. This is useful to know. My wife is with child, and I should be overjoyed. However, she's been acting strange, and I cannot shake the feeling that something is wrong. Uh, this cannot start right off the bat. Come on. Uh, look into it discreetly. All right, suspicions are laid to rest. No worries. The child apparently is mine. Let's hope that 20 years from now we don't find out otherwise. While studying the tactics of ancient generals, I was amazed to learn about the exploits of Alexander the Great during his conquest of Mesopotamia. Um, no amount of water will stop my armies. I like that. Twins! Twins right off the bat. Look at that. And uh, my sweet children, one of you will grow up to carry on my legacy. The other will always remain in his shadow. Uh, too bad. So sad. Uh, we're going to name the older one after myself, Christopher. And uh, we'll go with James for the younger one. May you grow strong and wise. All right. So just like that, we go from one child to two. Oh, that was my daughter. Why would I name my daughter Christopher? Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> I thought they were both sons. Rename. Okay. We're going to rename the daughter. Um, oh, what's a good Scottish woman name? Mary. They always have Mary. I mean, later on, obviously. Ah, a much better name. Mary Mac Christopher Stewart. And then James. We'll just keep it with James. That's fine. Our first Marshall perk. Causes belly, cost down, natural dread, stalwart leader. I like that. Let's go there. All right, we do have a number of wars that we could actually declare if we want. I just don't know if I want to dive right into that right off the bat. kind of want to get my feet wet and establish myself a little bit first. Blunder results in claim. I have an unpressed claim on Fife. I don't know if that's a good idea. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of military strength. He does have children. Alright. Does he have any allies? Doesn't appear to. Alright, let's do it. We'll declare war on him. For my claim. Uh, let's slow down the time a little bit here. And then raise the army. Let's go. We could call in our ally, but I don't think we're going to need him. I think we can handle this one on our own. Oh, I was wounded. Uh, I really probably... What is happening? I'm dead. Oh. I was just about to say, maybe I shouldn't be going into this battle myself with a... a newborn child at home but this is such a Stuart thing to have happen if you look at the history of the Stuarts they loved to die in battle and leave infant children on the throne so I have done my duty as a Stuart oh my gosh I, what a stupid thing to, for me to do I should not have been leading that army Ugh. now we're going to be in a regency for a long long time my goodness, at least I had a child before that happened. Wow, that was brutal. Killed in battle my first time out. My goodness. All right, so... Is that my mother? My mother can remarry. I got to be careful, though, because whoever we remarry to could try and grab the throne or something. But um, All right, let's do this. We'll go ahead and win this war. All right, so I need I need to get an ally because an army came in and just kicked my butt uh, and drove me out of there. So um, I don't have a commander in that army either. So let's go ahead and put Wolfstan in command of that army. 
Um, but we need to call an ally to help us out here. Let's call both of these allies. We're going to need them. Thank you. Thank you. And King Constantine, uh, who's the king of Alba, is being attacked by someone. They're trying to usurp him. In the meantime, we need to get down here with our army and try to defeat this one. Why is that guy? I thought I placed him. There we go. My liege won the war. That was fast. All right, my allies are coming to help. And they see... what's happened so they've gotten out of dodge we gotta retake sterling that's gonna take a little while and then we'll go after the enemy alright let's hit him this is gonna be quite a battle here two bigger armies oh yeah we've got it battle of Dunfermline It's going to be a nice victory for us. All right, let's take a look at the the stats on this. I love the details of these battles. It's so cool. Uh, what about our champions? 31 kills, beautiful. Looks like we captured his top champion and killed two others. Beautiful, beautiful thing. All right, so we killed 530. We lost 308 killed. Good stuff. So we're back on the winning side in this war at the moment, but it's far from over. All on behalf of James McChristopher, who is n just now one year old. All right, he just hit us again in Fife, and it was a slaughter this time. Uh, we killed two of his three champions. We killed 355 men, only lost 38. Uh, he's got another army that's on the way, but it's going to be likewise just brutally destroyed and we're about to to take the fort there and with that i think this war will be over yes so at least the war that cost my father his life was not in vain we have grabbed fife for ourselves what will it take the question is to become a duke we'll have to find out let's ransom this guy first And then let's take a look. Duchy of Albany. What do we need to create that? We have two of the four needed counties. We need four out of the six. And we have two of them. So um, the other four are actually controlled by King Constantine the Impaler. He's got the name the Impaler now. We've got to be super careful with him. Obviously, we can't just go taking counties off the king. Um, a lot easier said than done. Well, he actually doesn't control them all directly. He's got three of them, though, which means we're going to need at least one of his titles in order to be able to form that duchy. Sweet smiles and little lies. Just like other children her age, my sister Mary sometimes lies and tests boundaries. Interesting. Keep an eye on that one. She's charming. And I've gained the the t uh, trait bossy uh, I've put my Marshall Wolf stand uh, on to increasing control in Dunfermline uh, where we have pretty low control right now uh, looks like somebody has declared war on our liege that's not the worst thing in the world especially since we're going to have to take some counties off of him at some point if somebody does something to weaken him that's fine who's laying siege to me you jerk alright I guess we're going to have to deal with that so it's my liege's war, but I've been pulled into it. Uh, so we're going to have to raise our army back up. Less than ideal, really. There's also a hostile army from Jarl Halfdan out of Jorvik, which is, that's York, uh, down here. Um, 
don't know if he's just raiding or what, but man, this is a nightmare right now. So I'm really not sure what I can do with this army because I can't just go in there and attack these guys because I'll lose. Ah, uh, boy, I don't know what to do. Just maybe let it play out because the war is against my liege, not me. I can't disband the army, though, because of how close I am to the other armies. All right, we'll just let this play out, see what happens. All right, they're taking off now. That's good. I'll disband it, and we'll just let this play out. I've been captured and detained against my will by Jarl Ivar, the Boneless. I'm no longer free to return to my home or travel as I wish, so uh, this is all a part of the war against my liege, which I'm hoping ends pretty soon. All right, he lost that war, so that's not the worst thing. Hopefully that means I'm going to get released now. There is another war going on too, but my liege is actually winning that one. He had me thrown into the dungeons. This is not good because I don't have an heir. This could be a very quick series. I'm only nine years old. If I die in this dungeon, that's bad. Decision available. Escape from prison. Uh, yeah, I could get executed if I do this and fail. What are my odds? It doesn't really tell me, does me? Depends on my prowess and my traits. I'm nine years old. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'll take my chances. I hope that he'll release me. I do have a sister, so I mean, worst case scenario, she inherits. I'm homosexual. <laughs> it's one thing after another, isn't it? How am I supposed to have heirs if I'm homosexual? I don't have any brothers. Uh, this is crazy. Oh, the Gaelic culture. Gaelic. In, in, in Scotland, it's pronounced Gaelic. The Gaelic culture has in, uh, gotten rid of concubines. That's okay. I didn't want any anyway because I'm gay. I think that's the first time I've ever had my character homosexual in this game. Interesting. I'm 12 now. All right, we're going to try and escape from prison. No bars will hold me. Uh, I'm going to be starved for five years now. Well, things just went from bad to worse. Well, I'm at death's doorstep. I look awful. I think I'm probably going to die. I'm going to become my sister at that point. Let's see if I somehow manage to survive this. Probably not. Ah, oh, there we go. 14 years old, I died looking like a freaking zombie. But now I am my sister. I don't need all these. I don't know why I'm getting all the suggestions here. All right. I am not betrothed. We're going to have to do a matrilineal marriage, obviously. Uh, alliance power is going to be the main thing. I am 15, so I could probably marry pretty soon here. Um... Prestige gain. Grandson of King Charles II of the French. That's not bad. Might be the way to go here. Alright, cool. He said we would be the best couple ever. No error. Obviously, we're going to have to work on that. Well, just like that, Mary uh, has come of age. I'll be able to get married now. Let's go ahead and do that. The children will be of House Stuart. Which, actually, it's interesting because House Stuart actually comes to the throne in Scotland in the first place because of, uh, I think it's a granddaughter of Robert the Bruce who marries into the Stuarts. And uh, the throne passes through that family then. Uh, so that's where we're at right now. Uh, it is 886. All right, so we have the ability to petition our liege. Oh, so let's go ahead and do that. 
Uh, choose the petition type, council appointment. I don't really have any other great options. Strengthen my border counties. That might not be a bad idea to ask for. Send bailiffs to help raise county control. Let's do that. Because we do have some issues with county control right now. Come on! Petition rejected. For the good of Alba, I must refuse your request. Ah, okay, whatever. All right, so I guess we're stuck with that. Let's go ahead and see what happens a little bit here. With my marriage to Louis, the, or Louis, since he's French, uh, the realm expects us to throw a suitably extravagant wedding celebration. Well, I'll let my subjects enjoy the festivities without worry or care. All right. Lifestyle to choose. Uh, intrigue. I like that. It's probably a good way to go, especially for um, a woman who's not going to be fighting in wars. Fertility plus 20%. Okay, cool. A child is growing in my womb. My husband, Louis, will be proud. So this is interesting. I've been made Marshal of Alba. I didn't think that was a possibility for a woman, but we'll take it. Uh, I've got a son. Name him after my father, Christopher. May you grow to be strong and wise. So there you have it. Now I've got a helmet on because I'm the Marshal of Scotland, or of Alba, I should say. All right, so well, let's take a look real quick at where things stand. House Stuart, let's open our dynasty tree. There isn't really much to it so far, obviously. Uh, Christopher died at the age of 23, killed in battle. Uh, his son, my brother, died at 14 in a dungeon. And then, of course, there's me, and now my son, Christopher, who, of course, will eventually be the heir. Let's start looking. Alliance power. All right. So this is a, a Scottish house. That might not be the worst thing in the world to do. Let's go ahead and send a proposal there. My husband, Louis, has once, is once again absent from our chambers as night falls. Um, I will investigate this myself. He is unfaithful. Ah, you know what? Whatever. break it off or there will be consequences you know what we'll just talk about it we threw we threw her in the dungeon i love it king charles the second of west francia did it so that's uh that's my husband's grandfather through his grandson's lover my rival into jail i love it that's fantastic and we're going to wrap it up right there these episodes are going to be short but we'll try to do them frequently to keep the story moving along so let me know your thoughts hit that like button if you want to see more like this we'll see you again soon thanks for watching